Red Cruz here and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Now today, this is going to be an intro tutorial but at the same time before I start this tutorial, I just really want to thank you guys for all the support lately and I just want to thank you guys. I've been getting so many active subscribers lately and I'm just like really motivated to make more videos for you guys. So right now I just want to thank you guys so much and I'm taking this time out to make a video to let you guys know. The reason why I haven't been uploading lately is because I have been caught up in schoolwork and stuff like that. I have to get caught up and stuff. Oh, I'm just letting you guys know right now, I'm probably not no, not really going to be uploading as much as I used to because I got to get I got to get myself together right now. But I say that as I mean I want to go to college. I'm planning on going to college and stuff and do all that all that, you know. I want to go to college for electronic type of things because I like to put things together. I like to make things. I don't know why. So I'm not going to be uploading as I usually do. Hope you guys can just sit here and bear with me. I might not upload for another two weeks from now. Who knows? I might upload tomorrow. Who knows? Anything can happen. Before I go into the tutorial, I just want to thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. And it means it really means a lot. And I really appreciate the ones who are really active on my on my channel. To that, I just I'm planning on mixing things up on my channel like I used like I used to do. Like if you guys scroll down to my older videos, you guys will see tutorials. Um, and then you guys will see gaming, light uh, story times and stuff. So I'm thinking about mixing it up like I used to, and I'm not really sure about that. I just need you guys' opinions on what you guys think. Regardless of that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace. Anyway, back then, girl, how about now? Cause I'm up right now, and you suck right now. Oh, you thought you had it all figured out back then, girl, how about now? Cause I'm up right now, and you suck right now. What is up you guys, it's Rad Cruz here and welcome back to a new video on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make a dope sober or what is it called, saber text intro using Android. Uh, this is very easy and very simple. You guys will need a couple apps of course. You guys will need Pixel Lab, Photoshop Touch, KyMaster and Mega Photo. This uh, is not in the Play Store so I will link this down in the description so you guys can go on ahead and download it because for this you guys do need an older vo version of this of this Mega Photo app right here. So for this you guys want to go on ahead and open Pixel Lab. Once you guys have opened up Pixel Lab, now what you guys will need to do is simply go on ahead and go over to the A and go on ahead and edit and just type in the name that you guys wish. So for this, I'm going to put Wrath, of course. Now what you guys have done that, now what you guys will need to do is simply come over here and increase the size to 150. Now that you guys have done that, simply come over and go to Font and change the font as you guys wish. Um, to me, I like uh, for this for saber text i prefer a plump font a chopper font uh for this i'm just going to use a uh, plump i guess you can say no i'm gonna use chopper instead what you guys have done that and i think when you guys have equipped the new one you guys gonna have to increase the size of just a bit more so i'm increase the size increase yeah there we go so now what you guys have done that in order for this to work you guys have to put a stroke so i'm just going in and enable the stroke and just put color it does not matter you guys don't need to increase the size or anything now what you guys really need to do is simply tap on this uh this little squares and go to transparent and simply save it as an image and i'll see you guys in photoshop touch once you guys have opened up photoshop touch now what you guys really need to do is simply tap on this plus sign right here and simply type in 720 uh 1280p by 720 which i'm gonna do right click so now what you guys have done is simply press ok and then now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on and right here and go into fill and stroke. What you guys are in fill and stroke, you guys get to choose any color background as you guys wish. So before this, I'm just going to put a plain black background because it goes well with the saber text. So now what you guys have done that simply open up, uh, press this plus sign and go to photo layer. What you guys are in photo layer, go scroll all the way down to you guys see pixel lab and find your image right here, which mine is right here. So now what you guys will need to do is increase the size as you guys wish. So I'm just going to increase the size just a bit and put it right there. Now that you guys have done that, now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this plus sign right here and go and duplicate the layer and press done. What you guys have pressed done, tap on this one, uh, the bottom one, and tap on this uh, little part right here. I don't know how to explain that, but go ahead and select pixels. Once you guys have done that, now what you guys will need to do. So once you guys have opened up the end sign, now what you guys will need to do is go to fill and stroke. 
And now what you guys need to do is tap on this little part and go to stroke. And then now you guys can change the color of what color you guys want as your outline. So for this, I am going to choose a orange color, probably a goldish looking color, probably like right there. And then I'm gonna press the check mark. Now that you guys have done that, this is very important. You guys wanna go ahead and tap on this image right here and go on ahead and tap on this pencil and press cut. Once you guys have done that, as you guys can see, you guys will get this little clear image right there and just do the same routine to the second image at the bottom. And then as you guys can see, you guys will get that. Simply tap on the gray part and now you guys have to tap on the gray part it will or it will look weird so for this i'm just going to increase the size just a bit more i guess you can say all right so once you guys have done that simply tap on the effects and go into stylize and tap on glass and once you guys are in glass you guys get to increase the size or whatever you guys wish so if i want it kind of like that if i kind of wanted like a lava look it looked pretty nice come on back if you guys you guys can easily come back and you guys will get like a little laser effect to it like a little shock effect and if you guys come on more back it will kind of look like a gas <laughs> not not like fire gas but like fire-ish kind of look to it so yes you guys can actually customize that you guys wish you guys want a wavy look to it and stuff like a little fire look there you guys go um so for this i'm just gonna put this one at 1.20 and then I'm just gonna decrease the size, probably like right to like 50-ish or something. There you guys go. So now what you guys have done that, you guys can simply tap on the background right here and just simply cut. Whoops, wrong one. You guys wanna tap on the background and just simply cut. And there you guys go. You guys got your saber, your saber text right there. So now what you guys have done that you guys can easily just tap on this and go to save and go on ahead and tap on this and go to save to gallery. And then you guys could go to PNG and tap on, tap on that and just press okay. And I'll see you guys in mega photo. Right. So once you guys have opened up uh, mega photo pro, now what you guys will need to do is simply come on over before you guys do that. You guys want to tap on anything. And then you guys want to tap on the settings bar right here. And then you guys want to go in and go on ahead and go to image from library. And it will pull up whatever you have. So I'm just going to choose this. All right. So once you guys have done that, this is where it comes in. You guys want to flip it and go on ahead and crop it. So as you guys can see, you guys will get that look. So now you guys can easily just tap on the squares at the bottom and just choose whatever effect you guys want. So if you guys want a little rotating effect, there you guys go. If you guys want a blinker effect, there you guys go. If you guys want a wavy effect right here, um, you guys got a lot of options to choose from. So I'm going to go into the zoom effect where I'm where I'm going to show you guys. All right. So once you guys have chosen the zoom in effect, now what you guys will need to do, as you guys can see, you guys will see this little effect right here. So now what you guys have uh, chosen the effect, now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this record button and once you, I'll show you guys how you guys can do this because it's very timing consisting on this one. So what you guys will need to do is wait for it until it goes back to normal and press record. And then when it goes back to normal and press the record button again and it will say encoding video. Once you guys have done that, you guys can easily just choose whatever you guys want. If you guys want to uh, change color or something but for this uh, i'm gonna keep it at that so i'll see you guys in kind master all right so once you guys have grabbed your image now what you guys would need to do is simply tap on layer and go into video simply go into mega photo and just simply grab your uh your image or your text that you guys got from mega photo now what you guys would need to do is very simple just simply just do the same thing as i do right here so as you guys can see it's kind of a little blurry so just just know that um it's going to be like that so what you guys want to do is simply tap on this and just simply come on ahead until you guys see where it stops where it's right there and just simply come on ahead, just do the same routine as i do right there make sure it comes back like that so now once you guys have done that simply grab this and just move it closer to this one and then now you guys will get something like this there you guys go so once you guys have done that, I'm sorry if my nose is, I'm kind of a little sick right now. So sorry if you guys can hear my nose, but 
And once you guys have done that, just simply uh, add in your music. Hey, once you guys have gotten your music, now what you guys need to simply do, I'm um, just going to increase this a bit because that's really kind of hard to do. But what you guys have done, uh, you guys just want to grab this image of this video and just drag it to the drop, which I'm going to do. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just grab this image right here. And I'm going to go into right here. And I'm going to tap on this real quick and I'm going to press the split. And then I'm going to go to overlay animation and I'm just going to make sure I put it as drifting. This happens. All you guys will need to do, as you guys can see, it will have like a little double layer. All you guys got to do is just send to back. That's all you guys gotta do. So now it looks similar to something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to record right, so now once you guys have done it, simply duplicate this and go to another drop. So right here, so I'm going to remove that and I'm gonna duplicate this one. And I'm gonna move this one as well over here. So now you guys get something like this. Alright, so but I will meet you guys in Power Direct. Once you guys have opened a Power Director, now what you guys really need to do is simply edit. That's it. That's pretty much it that you guys all have to do. So yeah. just yeah. So right here, as you guys can see, you get all these bass and stuff. You guys can easily just edit all this out, which I'm going to do right quick. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys don't know how to edit or anything, I'm just going to guide you through it, through it right now. So what you guys want to do is simply play yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now keep an eye on that blue marker right here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. So it's 1.8. You guys want to go to 1.6. Um, it, it just reminds me about that all the time. 1.6 or 7 doesn't matter because it's the same. Tap on it. Cut it. Come back right here. Cut it. And go in, in between. Add an effect. Beating. And then now, you guys get something like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Remember I used to record them. So now, you guys get something like that. So now what you guys need to do, as you guys can see, you guys will hear a double beat right here. Remember I used to record them. Right there. So you guys want to do the same right thing. Alright, 2.7. So it's 2.5. And then you guys will need to cut it. Whoops. Uh, then I mean to do that. I meant to cut it, not delete it. And just do the same thing. Cut it. <laughs> Alright. So now you guys will get that double bass. Simply add in the beating once again. Right here. Come on, dude. Chill. Yeah, I knew it. Just come right here. Alright, so now what you guys have done that, just you guys are pretty much right. Remember I used to record on my ass. Alright, so now what you guys want to do is simply tap in the middle right here and just go into edit oops that's the beating never mind so you guys want to go into the next beat right right here Remember I used to record my like a fresh me. so right here right here it will be like a little bass right here too so um just cut it a little bit fresh me here back. so yep so we're gonna do that the same routine. Cut it, go a little bit more ahead, and cut it. Add in a, this time what we're going to do is add something different. So instead of doing all that, what we're going to do is tap inside of it and edit, and we're gonna have it flip. No, not flip. You, uh, we're gonna have it um, ro uh, rotate a bit, probably to like upside down. Yeah, right there. Oops, did too much. Right there. And then for this one, we're going to have a flip right here. We're going to have a flip. So now it'll look like something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, I used to record on my S boss. It's like a freshman here back in the days. Yep, and then once you guys have done that, 
just simply go into the middle right here add in the beating as well thing i like about this you can add in rotation effects while while it's you know doing this thing this is why i really like Kai, uh, power director is because you can do a lot more things to kind master yeah. but all right so now you guys want to do the same thing come right here boom so where's it go all right six six plus seven we're gonna go right here do the same thing come right here cut it out go into beating we're gonna go to effects right here so now it will look something like this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember I used to record up my S-Boss Talk a freshman here back in the days Yeah, so every day when I wake Alright, so now it would be something like that Yeah, so every day when I wake So once you guys have to get that double yeah, beat so every day. Which is right here What you guys want to do is do the same thing But this time you guys are going to do it different Um... So yeah, once you guys have done that, oops, wrong one. I had tapped on transition. But once you guys have done it, just simply tap on this and go into effects and go into continuous shooting. So it will look like this. I don't think it's playing right now, but it, it, you, you guys will see it. You guys will see it. So as you guys can see, you guys will get that effects right there. So simply tap on this and add in the same effect. Continuous shooting. And then you guys want to tap on the, the second one right here and go into edit and just add in more as simply as that. So now you guys are done. So it will look something like this. Yeah. yeah. Remember I used to record up my S boss. It's like a freshman here back in the days. Yeah. So every day when I wake up. So it, look, it actually looks pretty nice in my opinion. So now. Um, yeah. Now what you guys need to do is simply come right here and just cut this out. Just cut this part out right here. And for this part, just add in a black and white, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. And then you guys are pretty much done. Um, so it will look similar to something like this. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So that actually looks pretty nice in my opinion. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this did help you guys out, please give the video a thumbs up because it keeps me motivated, and make you guys make more videos for you guys. And I love you guys. And comment down below if you guys want like a different type of intro tutorial or something. Just comment down below so I can have some ideas at the time. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.